For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. All right guys, now we're going to do uh, this problem which says the bracket the bracket is subjected to two forces expressing each one in Cartesian vector form and then find the resultant force. You want to find the magnitude and the coordinate direction angles. So we got F1 F1 has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. But F1 also has a projection, which is this projection right here. So we need to find this projection in order to be able to find the X and Y components. The projection is equal to F1 cosine of 35 which is equal to 204.8. Now to find the X we do the projection. See X is this one right here. Times the sine of 25. See, here's 25. And to do the y, you do f1, xy, xy, also uh, the projection, times the cosine of 25. And the values come out to be 86.5 and 185.6. And the z is this vector right here which is F1 sine of 35 which comes out to be 143.4 negative because it's going in the negative C direction so the vector is 86.5 I plus 185.6 J minus 143.4 K Now let's work with F2. F2 is easy to find. F2 has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. Now F2 cosine of 120 is the X component because this is 120. F2 cosine of 45 is the y component, it's the angle that it forms with the y, and f2 cosine of 60 right here is the c component. These numbers are negative 200, 282.8, and positive 200. So negative 200i plus 282.8j plus 200k. These are the Cartesian representations of the two vectors. To find the resultant force, let's do it right here actually. You just add them together. You add the x with the x, y's with y's, C's with C's and you get that the resultant force is negative 113.5i plus 468.4j plus 56.6k to find the coordinate direction angles we need to find the magnitude and you do so by doing the square root of the squared of the sum of the components which comes out to be 485.3 with this number we can use to find the coordinate direction angles which can be found by doing the cosine inverse of their respective values 
divided over the magnitude of the resultant force cosine inverse of y over fr and cosine inverse of c over fr this is x this is y this is c and this is fr when you plug the numbers into these equations you're gonna get that the angles are 103.5 degrees for this angle I got 15.16 degrees for this angle and 83.3 for this angle final answer final answer for the magnitude and these are the Cartesian representations of the force.